Hello gorgeous people, this is Dr. V. Now whether you are new to this channel or already a beloved member of the Live Tarot family, I want to give you a big welcome and let you know that here we do Twin Flames, Soulmate, Sacred Union, Immortal Beloved, readings, the labels really don't matter, so that we can get you some confidence, some clarity, and help you to unite or reunite with that special person in your life. I know that many of you are struggling right now. Some of you are even in different stages of separation. So I want you to know that I've been there. So has everybody else in this incredible community, and you are not alone. We are here to support each other on this journey to love. We do use terms as divine masculine and divine feminine. These are just energies. They, they don't have to be biological markers. So please just use them as they work for you. Now, um, before we start, I just want to tell you, yes, I know that things are very difficult in the world right now with the coronavirus. And so all of you, we have this amazing global community. And I just wanted to let you know, all of you have been in my thoughts and prayers ever since this broke out globally. I, I've just been thinking only about you guys, like wherever all of you are, I hope that you are safe, secure, you and your loved ones, and that you're happy and you're staying healthy. Please make sure you take all the necessary precautions okay put your health first I've been just so concerned about all of you my love and prayers are always with you so what I've done is pre shuffled all of my decks um, I use a variety of different decks as well as these three decks that I've created specifically for all of you who are on this journey to love so let's start our reading so Spirit, can you please tell us what is the divine masculine struggling with on his journey to love right now? What is the divine masculine struggling with in his journey, in his love journey, especially with his heart? What are his heart struggles? What are the divine masculines? <laughs> Interesting. Struggles right now. Where is the divine masculine in his love journey? Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Look at this. They are building up a very complete picture here. Very, very complete. Look at this harmony. All right. So what I'm feeling here is that the divine masculine collective that we are connecting with are really looking for harmony and they are struggling to achieve it. See, you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. This is something the masculine is having a harder time with at this time. And here are the reasons for that. Look at this page of wands. So the masculine is in a state where there are so many actions that he wants to take. Um, there's so many things that he wants to do in his emotional life as well as in his overall life. And so it's almost like his to-do list is long. <laughs> his to-do list is long, but he's kind of flailing around in trying to actually get results. And so there's a bit of a, of a um, I don't want to say a juvenile energy, but more of a student of life kind of energy coming from the masculine right now. He's coming through as this page of wands, as somebody who is very youthful in his energy. He doesn't have to be youthful in age, but there's something in him that is um, a little bit on the still growing, still learning kind of side and can be a little bit, um, a little bit quick 
to do things because of this wands energy, a little bit quick to do things, but then not get the results that he wants. So he wants to grow into a better place when it comes to how he chooses to take action, because it's not, it's bringing him more discord than harmony, being in this more of this child, um, kind of inner, more of an inner child like thing, because on the one hand, he may seem very exciting because of this, right? He may have an aura about him that is very vibrant, very bold, very youthful in it, in its energy, like somebody who's just willing to do really fun things, to go out and take risks, um, to go out and do things that other men or masculines don't want to do, but in a really cool way, but yet that there, it also comes with this, with its drawbacks. And that's where he sometimes falls on his face because his life can be a bit chaotic. And so he's come to a point where he would really like some more of this harmony. And these are the issues that he is dealing with as he is kind of coming around to that, which is so interesting because the seed, this to me is, is um, a confirmation from spirit about this youthful energy growing up wanting to grow in experience rejection of perpetual youth see so there's something in him that is ready to grow up and you know put on his big boy pants <laughs> Look at this. This is where he wants to be. You know, he wants to be this respected man. He wants to be this, you know, uh, a man who has, you know, clout in the world. He wants for people around him, especially those he loves and especially his feminine to see him in a new way. He, he doesn't want you feminine to see him anymore as this way because he has been a bit immature, right? He has had some growing up to do. And so he wants to transition away from this and into this energy, which is really good, which is good for everybody, I think, because that is what this judgment card is all about. I love this. You know, it is really about rebirth. It's about this transition, regeneration, um, reinvention, which is just so awesome. Look at this. A reinvention from you know, uh, a young, a youthful, immature energy into a more self-assured, confident, mature, manly, sexy man kind of energy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you know, this, this exudes this, I mean, sexiness, right? Because who doesn't love a mature, amazing, sexy man who really knows himself and who really knows how to act in any given situation that when he enters a situation, people look at him with respect. People wait to listen, to hear what he has to say. So that is what he's looking for. And part of what he needs to do to get there is this. Three things that he is dealing with, struggling with right now, especially when it comes to you, feminine. Three interesting things. Nine of Wands, control and ego. Isn't that so amazing? So he realizes that he has struggled in this Nine of Wands energy with you, feminine, in terms of being too much of this wounded kind of a child, like a ch wounded childlike being. <laughs> See, he, he's he been a little bit on that, oh, you know, a little bit of that poor me, look at me, you know, I've really been hurt before, I've been disappointed in love before, um, I've even been cheated on, I've been betrayed, I've been stabbed in the back, and so therefore I put up my walls, and therefore I am on guard, you know, I have to be very careful. I don't want to get my heart broken again, it's hard for me to trust, right? All of these things you may have heard him say uh, because of the experiences that he's had in the past. But the problem with that is that the result of this Nine of Wands energy has been that he, this your masculine may be seeking to control things a bit much and may be having a lot of pride and ego issues. So there may be clashes going on, you know, hurtful words said, you know, things going back and forth between the two of you. And you're wondering, you know, why is he so, you know, why is he so stubborn? Why is he so guarded all the time? What's going on here? And, and that is one of th that's what he's struggling with, especially with his feminine, because you are the person that he wants to be the most trusting of. He wants you to be the person he trusts the most and he wants to be the person that you trust them. 
Did I say that the same way? Oops. <laughs> He wants to be the person you trust the most and vice versa. That is what I was trying to say. But the problem is that sometimes he may come off a bit too strong and wanting to control the situation or wanting to have the final say or the last word, you know, having a bit of an ego, um, you know, having too much pride, not being able to admit when he's wrong and easily kind of going back uh, behind his walls. So this is definitely something he's struggling with. But look, I think that what he wants is really important. See, he wants this new chapter, what he's looking for, this transition that he's looking for into this, wow, the sexy, confident man that he wants to be is something that he wants to bloom, right? He wants this to come into fruition because he believes, and this is so lovely, that when he steps into this sexy man energy, this self-assured, amazing man energy, that then it will help to create the harmony between the two of you that he would really like to have. And I think that is a wonderful intention for the Divine Masculine. Wow. All right, so let me pause here and let me give you your affirmation of the day. So today's affirmation is so simple, but it's all about empowering yourself. It's about knowing that you can do anything that you've set your mind to. So I want you to write in the comment box below, I am unstoppable. I am truly unstoppable. And make sure that you go out and live that every single day. All right, let's get back into our reading here. Our next question for Spirit is, so Spirit, can you please tell us what is the divine masculine currently not seeing or understanding about his feminine? Like where are his blind spots? Where are his blind spots when it comes to his feminine? What is he not seeing? Wow. What is the masculine not seeing or understanding about his feminine at this time? Oh, <laughs> where are his blind spots when it comes to his divine feminine? What? Whoa, <laughs> what is the divine masculine not seeing right now that he needs to see about his feminine? Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Ooh, feminines can't get no satisfaction, huh? Looking for satisfaction, are we feminines? I love this. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Ooh, feminine. <laughs> Yes, you are definitely looking for satisfaction. Look at all of this ace of pentacles. Oh. So what the masculine is not seeing about his feminine that he needs to understand is that she needs to believe that she can create the life that she wants with her masculine. There is something in here that has happened that has caused her to doubt these beliefs. Nine of Swords, Feminine, you have been up at night, stressed out, asking yourself this question, is my masculine going to come through for me? Is he going to come through for us? Um, when, when you have some sort of a fight or argument, he is the one who goes to sleep and starts snoring. <laughs> and you are the one who is up worrying. <laughs> oh my gosh, going over the fight, going over every word that was said, right? Going like, oh, why did I say that? Oh no, look what he said. Oh gosh, this is so stressful. Oh, are we going to... I just want to talk about this, but he's asleep. <laughs> you know, this is so common. You know, that the feminine is the one who worries. The feminine can't just, you know, go to bed easily and forget all about it and, and go off to, you know, dreamland just fine. That sometimes is the difference between the masculine and feminine energies. And so something that the masculine must understand about his 
feminine is that she is a is made up differently okay so i do want to remind you at this time that this is a general reading it may not apply to your specific circumstance um if you would like guidance on your special situation which of course is unique then that's what a private reading would be for and the link to that is in the box below so this is what the masculine needs to understand that oftentimes his feminine, and he may not even realize this, this is something she may even be doing secretly, that she is up worrying. That every time they don't get along, you don't get along, or you have you have some sort of issue, then it you know, while while you are sleeping, masculine, your feminine is really, really upset. And you need to understand that. And and what you are doing every time this happens is that you are chipping away at her belief. You are you are putting doubts in her mind that she could have this new life with you, that she could actually build. See Pentacles energy. So this this is a th these feminines are not messing around. They want a real life. This is not all about oh, woo woo. You know. Um, daydreams and fantasies. This is about wanting a real life, a family, a home, a shared life that is there, that is a, a commitment that you have made in front of the world, your family, your friends. Um, this is what your feminine wants that you are not seeing. She wants something real. She wants a true commitment that is leading to a solid, real life that is grounded and real. And so sometimes when she is in this this energy of nine of swords it is it is very difficult for her because what happens is that she goes deep into her own mind into her own heart and tries to access that spiritual side and you know the other thing that you need to know about your feminine masculine is that she what she tries to do is she tries to come up with a spiritual response she tries tries to kind of spiritually battle her fears, which is a really wonderful thing. Your feminine is somebody who's very much in tune with her spirit and with her source. And so whenever she feels this way, when she feels that she's at a crossroads with you and doesn't know what to do, doesn't know which path to take, she goes inside and she looks for the answers there. And she tries to not play the blame game. She tries not to point fingers. She tries not to um, make the situation worse. And she tries as best as she can to be supportive, to, um, you know, talk things out, to try to be open minded to your perspective. And so she wants you masculine to be open minded to her perspective as well. She wants that reciprocity because she feels that she does what she can to make the situation better. And so what you are um, not understanding here is that she has had an awakening. Your feminine has had a spiritual awakening and she is hoping that you could support her on that and that you could also join her in that state because if you can both be awakened then it will bring so much more look at this harmony and satisfaction to this connection. Isn't that so beautiful? I think this is just amazing masculines. What your feminine is trying to tell you that if you're seeking this harmony, she's seeking the satisfaction. The way it is going to come is if you both can be awakened together. So you're in this equally. You are both equal partners in this amazing connection that is leading you both out of this difficult nine of swords and nine of wands. Look at this. You're mirroring each other. Nine of swords and nine of wands energy, both of you. So it's going to lead you out of this into this beautiful path of commitment and having a solid and real new life. I just love this. Love it. Beautiful. <laughs> 
So then spirit, can you please tell us what would the masculine say to his feminine from his deepest heart if he could? What would the masculine say to the feminine from his deepest heart? Oh, lovely messages here. Oh, I love these. Okay, so I'm going to start with this shadow message because I like the fact that he, the masculine, is being upfront about his own, you know, his own, the, his own mistakes, like what, where he's been going wrong. At least he sees this. See, I contradict myself and give you mixed messages. So if you've been feeling like your masculine's been giving you um, mixed messages, then he definitely understands that. And that's part of that harmony. That's part of that transition that he is trying to go for from that more mature student of the world energy to that sexy, <laughs> mature man energy. And then look at this one. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. So this, I feel, goes back to those nine energies, the nine of wands uh, and the nine of swords, right? Where, you know, you may have had issues with, and we, we saw that before, with ego and control. You may have had some disappointment and some words, but I think what the masculine wants you to know here, feminine, is that he may act like he is not being affected by your words. Like say when when you you have said something that maybe you've regretted later or maybe that was painful or hurtful to him, even if you didn't mean to, but it was in the heat of the moment, um, he may have acted very, very, uh, like a very strong masculine, like, oh, what you know, this doesn't affect me at all, you know, whatever, right? He may have acted like that, but inside he is very soft and it did crush him, but he kept giving you that kind of strong masculine um, energy, right? Like that strong, he put up that, that strong front acting like your words or your emotions didn't affect him when they really deeply did and it was extremely painful to him and I feel that that is part of why your masculine has now become so motivated right so motivated to make that transition to have that rebirth that reinvention um, and to kind of go to that next level of maturity so that he doesn't have to deal with as much with those situations he can handle them better and therefore handle this love connection much better and then see everywhere I go I look around as if you'll magically be there isn't that lovely Aww. So for those of you who are in separation, your masculine is definitely feeling this. Even if it's been for a short amount of time or maybe you've just stepped back for a little bit, oh, he is definitely feeling the lack of your energy and your presence. And so everywhere he goes, it's like there's this wish fulfillment going on. Like, oh, will I see her here? I wish I could see her there. Or what if she was right here? You know, there's this, this longing that he definitely has because of your absence. Wow. So Spirit, can you please tell us then what is your advice on how the masculine and feminine can work through this together? How can the masculine and feminine work through this together so that they can have a fantastic relationship? Interesting. How can the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine work through this together so that they can have an incredible relationship. peacefulness. I love this. Look at these amazing energies. You have um, you have uh, harmony, satisfaction, 
and peacefulness. I just love this. What beautiful energy is coming through here. So I think what Spirit is trying to say, guys, is really very clear here, is that Sometimes what happens because so many emotions, deep emotions are involved between us and our divine masculine or divine feminine, the person that we truly love with a passion, the person that we um, feel is our twin flame, immortal beloved, and who we'd like to build an amazing life with. Um, sometimes when things go out of control or sometimes when the human emotions you know human all the things that make us human when they come into play sometimes it's easy for us to act like children it makes sense right all of us have acted like children in one way or the other even when we're adults um, in arguments and disagreements uh, throwing tantrums right um, sulking <laughs> complaining, right? We all do that. I mean, that's all part of our nature. That is the inner child, you know, within us. So I think what spirit is trying to say is that ultimately you have to give up some control and forgive. You can't hold on too tight to your divine counterpart. You've got to give them the space to be who they are. But at the same time, you have to be able to forgive each other for those times when you become, you know, um, uh, people that you don't want to behave like, right? <laughs> because that is just a normal part of the human journey. And I think uh, Spirit is also saying manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of condition. So when you do feel that your um, masculine or feminine is behaving a bit you know, immature, say there's been an issue, you can't uh, agree, right? Then I think what Spirit is saying is that try to focus on your own happiness, give each other the space, you know, don't have that death death grasp <laughs> clasp on each other. Uh, forgive each other readily and find the path back. Like find the path that is going to lead you both to that satisfaction, harmony, and peacefulness. And I think that what um, Spirit is also trying to say here is that uh, be, be good with the choices that you make. Two of Swords energy. Make good choices. Try in the moment to be conscious of what you're doing and what you're saying, right? Um, try to avoid making the kind of decisions that are going to lead you down the wrong path. So I think what they're saying is do things differently than the way you've done before. Be able to recognize the, the mistakes that you both have made and make a pact that you both are going to forgive, let go of control, not be so dependent on each other that you're codependent and do things differently. Make better decisions, two of swords. Really think things through before you act and before you say things that you could regret. And a little bit of dispassion never hurts. <laughs> I think that's what this queen of swords, the final advice from spirit is all about, that it never hurts to be a bit dispassionate. Try not to get into the heat of the moment because it's the heat of the moment that kind of makes us become, you know, tantrum throwing kids sometimes, right? That if we can maintain some sort of logic during the more heated, more passionate situations that can only serve us because we'll be better able to communicate with each other and communicate what our true thoughts and feelings really are. Wow, I have to thank Spirit today because I think these were incredibly powerful and specific messages. I hope that they have really served you today because I've learned a lot. I have learned so much myself here. So, um, you know that if you would like to have a private reading with me, the link is in the box below as well as the link to all of these oracle decks that I've created specifically for you. You can find everything at livetarot.com. So you know how much I love you. You know how much I believe in you. And I will see you all on the next video.